Hi, my name is Jeffrey Lewis, and I'm very, very lucky to have known Tuli and his wonderful family and uh, a bunch of his wonderful friends. And um, I, I grew up around the corner from here. My parents were professional Lower East Siders and still are. And I remember finding the Fugs in their record collection. And this was not only great art, it was just sounded like a bunch of Lower East Siders. And it was. And it really showed that uh, great art and greatness is in regular people and is in all of you and all of us. And he just had a, just a very special circle of friends and family and everybody that's uh, been lucky enough to know him, including myself, and I got, I was going through some answering machine messages that I had, uh, and I found one from Thule from, a, I guess, a few months ago or some point in the last year where he was, I, I just told the story to somebody a couple of days ago, and he said, he was talking about something and he forgot what he was saying, he sort of stumbled on his words, he, he sort of forgot himself, and he said, sadly, I grow old, I grow old, I shall wear the bottoms of my condoms rolled. And that was just uh, tooling all over, uh, and, he, it, and it, it made me think that this complete lack of respect for everything, this complete outrageousness that suffused his life, was not actually a lack of respect, it was that he had a higher level of what he considered really respectful love and compassion. And I, I, I was going to keep this brief, but I, I can't help but mention that I, for some reason the other day I was thinking about Milton, the blind poet, uh, whose daughters helped transcribe his poems, and how, how Thule was sort of our modern Milton, as uh, Thelma and Samara and Brendan and people were helping him in his later years. And Milton uh, wrote Lycidas, um, which uh, seems perfect for a, a little para poem for Thule. Um, who would not sing for Lycidas? He knew himself to sing and build the lofty rhyme. And Milton wrote this for his friend who drowned very young, who was a promising poet. Like Thule himself almost drowned very young as a promising poet. And Milton goes on to say that his friend is not gone. Um, he'll be forevermore the genius of the shore, uh, the guardian angel of the area over which he drowned. And the same way Thule lived his life and will forever be the guardian angel of the Lower East Side, the area in which he almost drowned, but continued to stay with us for decades, giving us so much wonderful stuff that we're never going to forget and will be with us forever.